Welcome into the 49ers Report by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Senior. Coming your way on today's show, a 49ers News and Rumors mailbag as part of our live show as we go live every single Tuesday, 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific. Today's mailbag is presented to you by our wonderful sponsor, the Fetch Rewards app. Scan your receipts and get points back for simply taking pictures and scanning your receipts. Then those points lead to you getting free gift cards to places like Amazon, Fanatics, Walmart, Starbucks. Go to chatsports.com slash fetch. Enter the promo code 49ers for 3,000 bonus points to start off with. Corey Williams. Jimmy G is one game away from his second Super Bowl in three years. Should the 49ers trade Trey Lance this offseason? My answer to that is no. Instead, trade Jimmy Garoppolo. Is his value as a trade target and as a trade piece ever going to be this high? I understand he hasn't put up all world numbers in terms of passing numbers throughout this playoff run. But look, Jimmy Garoppolo has intangibles that you look for in a franchise face. And there are so many quarterback needy teams out there. And with Garoppolo leading San Francisco, to potentially, to two Super Bowls in three years as the full-time starter because last year he was injured, there are going to be other teams that you can leverage into sending you, I'm going to say, a second-round pick. That's always been my prediction. But Carson Wentz got back a protected first-round pick. He only had to play 75% of the snaps. Sam Darnold got back a second-round pick. Who would you rather have, Jimmy Garoppolo or Sam Darnold or Carson Wentz? I'm going Jimmy G all day because he's won a bunch of games as a starter with San Francisco. So I want to ask you this question. Not do you think Garoppolo will start in 2022. Do you want him to start in 2022? Type B for back. Type TL for you want Trey Lance to take the reins. That's where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead and type my TL. Smokey, do you think Trey Lance gives us a better chance to win the NFC Championship game? No, I don't. Look, I have called for Trey Lance at points throughout this year, but at this point, you're not running with the quarterback carousel. You're not running with two quarterbacks in your offensive system. You're going with what has worked up to this point, and what has worked is Garoppolo. Now, yes, he wasn't great to start that game against the Los Angeles Rams to get you into the playoffs. That late missed throw to Brandon Ayuk against the Cowboys was awful. That could have sealed the game. Then he almost gave away the game with that overthrow on that pass intended for Trent Sherfield. That allowed the Cowboys to come back. And against Green Bay, this offense could not do jack shit for a majority of that game. But what the consistent theme has also been this year in crunch time situations, don't hit me with those corny analytics because sometimes they apply and they prove a point. Other times they don't. With this argument, it's the latter. All year long, Outside of the Tennessee game, two-minute warning, end of half, end of game situations, Garoppolo has come through to put the Niners in a position to win these games. I think you continue to roll with him. He also played very, very well against the Rams in that second half during that 17-point comeback. Alpha Doctor 20, do you think D'Amico is better than Robert Sala? It's tough to say, man, because Robert Sala's defense in 2019 was terrific. Even last year, when they were just ravaged by injuries, it was still a pretty solid defensive unit, although the numbers don't really indicate that. The eye test did tell you that because they were a pretty solid defensive unit considering the litany of injuries on that side of the ball. Does D'Amico Ryans have more potential long-term as a better defensive coordinator and head coach than Robert Sala? I think you might be able to make the argument that yes, he does. It's really, really difficult, though. Now, coming up on our live show, we're going to break down some defensive numbers with this defensive turnaround, which have really been fascinating numbers to look at and examine and analyze. But I like D'Amico Ryans. I think he's one of the best defensive coordinators in the league. Whichever coach or whichever team doesn't hire him as a head coach this hiring cycle, I think it's kind of confounding to me because what he's been able to do along the way and the adjustments that have taken place, really, really impressive. Good job by producer Marshall for popping these defensive stats up. Weeks one through nine, they gave up 25 points per game, 338 yards per game, 206 through the air, 131 through the ground, and five turnovers. But weeks 10 through 20, obviously including this playoff run, down eight points with points per game. Yards per game is down in terms of totals. Pass up, but doesn't really matter. It's a pass-happy league. Rushing yards down from 131 to 77. That's crazy. The turnover numbers have gone up. So too have the sacks. So honestly, if you ask me to pick one, I might go D'Amico over Robert Sala. Always Guapo. Love that name. How do you think we'll do if Trent Williams can't play against the Rams? Well, if you remember, 
He missed week 18 against the Rams with that elbow injury, and San Francisco was able to fend off that very good defensive line. Of course, Von Miller had that sack late, which was really big for Los Angeles, and you know, without Trent Williams, you really miss him through the air and on the ground game. He's the highest paid left tackle for a reason. He's the most dominant left tackle in the game and the best offensive lineman in the National Football League. So anytime you're without a first team all pro, that is going to be felt, that is going to be missed, and you have to alter your game plan because you're not going to run left as many times. You're not going to run quarterback boots to the left side. You're not going to shift the line of scrimmage to the left side either as much. You're not going to operate Debo to that side of the field when Trent Williams is off the field. So it'll, of course, impact them. Hopefully they can survive like they did in Week 18 in that comeback against Los Angeles. Speaking of this game on Sunday, where is the Niner gang at? Get your predictions in. I also put this up as a poll question on our community tab. I think like 98% of the people voted San Francisco, but you let me know in the comments section. Type SF for the Niners, LAR for the Rams. Get your score predictions in for the NFC Championship game in the comment section below me. 49ers Report presented to you by our friends at the Fetch Rewards app. This app, it's really changed my life. Why is that? It's free, easy to use, and I've been able to get free gift cards in the process. All you have to do, pull it out, download it by going to chatsports.com slash fetch, enter the promo code 49ers. You scan your receipts, and over time, you're able to accumulate all of these bonus points. Those bonus points then lead to you getting free gift cards to places like Amazon, Target, Walmart. Now, the technology on this app is crazy. You can connect your email to it, and it is able to scan through your email and basically identify all of the digital receipts in your email, but also it scans your receipts and it kind of registers everything that is all on that receipt. But if it doesn't, you can even just add the location of where you made your purchase or the store name, and that way it will be able to register as well. So the technology on this app is crazy, and anytime you can get free gift cards back in the process for a free download on the Apple Store or Google Play Store, it's a no-brainer. You want to support us, you want to support the show, and you want free money basically in the process, head to chatsports.com fetch, enter the promo code 49ers. I'm going to put that link in the comment section as well as the description of this video, both during our live show and after the fact during our video on demand. Also, we're having a little bit of a competition here at Chat Sports. 49ers report downloads. We're able to track this stuff because we're analytical geniuses. Not only did the 49ers crush the Cowboys on the field during Wild Card Weekend, we're beating them with Fetch Rewards downloads as well. I want to continue to dominate Tom Downey. He was in shambles during the Wild Card game. Let's continue to have him in shambles. We are 26 downloads ahead of the Dallas Cowboys report with Fetch downloads. So one more time, chatsports.com. Enter the promo code 49ers and make that download right now. Joel Hernandez, as we roll on in this 49ers report mailbag, is Ambry Thomas going to play on Sunday? So Kyle Shanahan said earlier in the week, feeling a lot better earlier in the week as compared to how he felt over the weekend. Anytime you're dealing with a bone bruise in your knee, it's going to be really, really difficult to come back from that in less than a week on short rest like Ambry Thomas was asked to do. If you get him back though as well in the secondary, which has really been playing well over the last couple of months, that's a big lift for D'Amico Ryans, his defense, and man, his development has been fantastic. Triple D, TX, Stafford will choke on the biggest of games and on the big stage against the Niners defense. He will not perform like he did against the Bucks. I hope not. And Matthew Stafford unleashing those throws on the final two passing plays to Cooper Cup uh, to basically get around midfield and then to throw that dart downfield to set up the game-winning field goal at the end of regulation. That's really just unique stuff that you do not see often. Here's where it comes down to it being a big point against San Francisco in this game on Sunday. He was really good on third downs in Week 18, especially in that first half. Then late in the game, he was able to carve up the Niners defense on multiple occasions on third downs. Niners defense and that secondary has to be better. If they can get a pass rush and not give Matthew Stafford opportunities to survey the field, go through his reads, and really pick apart this defense, it could be a long day for him. And coming up on our live show, we'll take a look at some of those sack numbers against Stafford and some of the other better quarterbacks in the NFL. 
Speaking of this game on Sunday, we're going to be doing another watch party for it right here on the 49ers Report. Last week, most watched watch party and video in the history of the 49ers Report, which started back in 2019. More than 100,000 people joined us throughout the course of the night for our pregame show, during the game, and our postgame show. It got live, it got litty, it got crazy. Let's do it again, and let's punch a ticket to the Super Bowl. We'll be going live 30 minutes before the game on Sunday. Venom, loyal watcher of the 49ers report, I think this game for us, beating the Rams, we got this win 100%. I believe in the faithful. Always bang, bang, Niner gang for life. I hope you're right, homie. I hope you're right, because I want to celebrate a Super Bowl berth. It would be the second one in three years for San Francisco. Last question in this mailbag, Christian Bernal. And hopefully I pronounced that right. If Jimmy Garoppolo wins us a Super Bowl, do you think we should give him another contract? Another contract? No. Because he hasn't proven to be durable enough for him to get another contract. But he does have one final year left on his contract. So have we ever really encountered a scenario where a quarterback wins a Super Bowl, then the next year they just say sayonara? Bye-bye. Have we also ever had a scenario where a franchise drafted a quarterback in the top three picks and then they still make it to the Super Bowl without that quarterback playing? Really weird, wonky, wild, and crazy year for San Francisco. I'm all here for it, though. Spam beat LA in the comment section. That is the theme for the week. That is the motto. That is the movement. So before we depart on this mailbag, if you're watching after our live show, spam beat LA and get the good vibes flowing. Let's start it off and let's take down that fraudulent fan base. 